Hi boys and girls, welcome to Hearts Like Kids, where kids shine bright. Today we are celebrating St. Patrick's Day by making a craft with Dr. Jonet and all of you kiddos out there. I can hardly wait to see what we are going to make, so let's get started. But before we get started, don't forget to click that like button right down there and subscribe so you don't miss any of our cool fun and amazing activities here on Hearts Life. Let's get started and make this fun St. Patrick's Day craft. We are making picture frames. You can make a smaller one with one picture in it or a larger one with two pictures or even three pictures in it. You get to choose. What are you going to need to make your picture? And this will be a picture you could put on your wall or on your refrigerator or give to somebody for St. Patrick's Day. You're going to need a piece of paper that's six inches by six inches. You're going to need a punch that you can use, a two inch punch, it makes a two inch circle. If you don't have a punch, then a two inch circle that you will draw around and then cut out, but we're going to punch it today. You're going to need a piece of paper that looks like wood, but if you don't have a piece of paper that looks like wood, this paper is six inches by six inches, so when we cut it, it makes a nice picture frame for our picture. If you don't have a piece of paper that looks like wood, you could use an orange piece of paper or a gold piece of paper or any other piece of paper, but you want four six inch long by one half inch wide pieces of paper that you're going to use to make the picture frame. And the most important part is all of the decorations. We have a pot of gold, some coins, and some shamrocks. Or if you have some cool St. Patrick's Day stickers, you can use them. Anything to decorate your picture with. And that's pretty much it. You can stick things to the picture with some Elmer's glue. Or, t or I like to use this double-sided tape called score tape. But if you don't have that, you can use... Elmer's glue and that works just fine and that's pretty much it for what we need for our supplies so let's start making our picture frame to start we are going to punch a couple of holes in our picture frame let's put one down here and one kind of up a little bit, maybe about right here. And next, we want to put the frame or the frame on our picture frame. I already put the double sided tape on here, so we just need to peel that off and stick it right onto our picture frame. Just like that. And I leave one edge up a little bit and you'll see why I do that. Probably could have put that uh, over just a little bit. This is why we left it up just a little bit because we want to slip this one right underneath it like that. 
There we go. Now, when you get ready to put the pictures in the back, I just put them on with some scotch tape. So you cut them out and put them so they put them where you want and scotch tape them in place. Then the only other thing you need to do is decorate your frame. You can put a pot of gold on it. I like that about there. I think it needs some coins, maybe a couple of coins up here. And let's see, how about a shamrock? Where do we want to put a shamrock? Maybe down here with the pot of gold. And maybe one more shamrock way up here in this corner. What do you think? Does that look pretty good? I think that looks pretty good. So now we just have to stick them down. I went ahead and put that double-sided tape on it. Just peel that off and stick them in place. Mom and Dad, if you're helping the kids make this craft, go ahead and peel that off. Stick them. extra coin there if you wanted. Totally up to you. But that's it. Just need the pictures in it and we've got our beautiful St. Patrick's Day pictures. Wow Gibber, that was a really fun craft. I had fun punching the holes in my picture frame with that great big punch. I had fun putting on the decorations what was your favorite part of the craft, boys and girls? If you go to Hearts Like Kids, you can also download an instruction sheet that will tell you all the things you need to do and have to make this craft. So get your mom to help you to go to Hearts Like Kids and download the St. Patrick's Day craft and you can make a really cool picture frame too. See you next time on Hearts Like Kids, where kids shine bright. Bye!